Hi everyone! It's time to do a toenail change and you are looking at this toenail set that I did. I did these, I actually uploaded these on February 8th. So it's been like over two months. These have stayed on at least. They've been on here eight or nine weeks. Now this one fell off I think it was about a week ago or two weeks ago. So it would have been held on there for about probably six weeks before it fell off. And so let me just back up a little bit before everybody starts saying stuff. This this is just dead skin, um, just hardened, calloused skin. And before I go any further, let me just say this. I have had my toenails removed permanently by a podiatrist. The matrix, the root back here, has been taken out. So my toenails will never grow back. Now there is a little piece of toenail that grows like down in here a little bit. And like over in this one toenail here. So before anybody says anything like, oh, you got toenail fungus or whatever, whatever, um, I have several different videos. I have a playlist on my toenails. I will link the main one up here in the corner if you want to check it out. And um, so, you know, I throughout my life I had some ingrown toenails, right? And then I had an accident where I injured my toenails. And I went to the doctor, and we, he decided just to go ahead and just remove them, uh, you know, permanently. And then there won't be any more trouble, you know. And so that's what happened. So, um, so I always keep the video positive. And if you don't have anything positive to say and you decide to leave a rude, nasty comment, it's going to be removed. The, the procedure that I do on my two large toes uh, is something that I do on myself. Okay, I don't do this on any clients or anyone else. I only do it on myself and I show you what I do because I know there's people out there that have issues with their toenails missing or they've got other problems and I'm just showing you how I take care of my feet to make them look presentable. And yeah, so if you wanna you know, know how I do it, then keep watching. All right, so the first thing that I want to do is I want to show you how uh, I remove the toenail since it's been on for about eight or nine weeks, which is really good because let me just say it, it has been winter and it's cold and I've been wearing toe, uh, closed toe shoes. So I haven't been wearing sandals or anything like that. So that's probably why, you know, I got some good wear. Or maybe I just got them on good this time. So I'm going to show you how I would remove this. Um, you know, look how lifted it is. Do you see that? It might just pop right off. Oh, no, it won't because I can feel it's attached back here still to some skin. I'm going to take this little syringe here. Now, this is not a needle. This is just... Um, like you would fill up aquarium nails with or anything like that. I'm going to put some acetone in it and squirt it under the nail and then let it sit and then I'll take the nail off, okay? All right, so I just lift up the nail here and just squirt the acetone in it Whoop. and let it run around inside underneath that nail and I'll let it sit for probably about maybe 10 minutes, 5 or 10 minutes, and then that should lift off. And that's how uh, I remove my toenails because they're just, they're on my skin basically. And, you know, say I wanted to change it out sooner, um, then this is what I would do because I had people asking because I just can't pry them off, say, if I, you know, if I wanted to remove them. But if you're just, you know, applying toenails over your nail bed skin, um, after a few days, they will lift at the very tip here because there's nothing for them to really stick to. All right, let's see if this nail will come off. Hmm. It's really on there. 
Now, you're going to see under here, ooh, look at that. Um, when you wear these, look at this. Do you see that? That's just skin, uh, the acrylic, how it attaches itself. And then the rest of this stuff under here is just like water that, that gets under your nail. Just funky stuff. I'm not going to lie about it. You know, your body sheds skin. There's dirt, fuzz, just whatever. You know, it's not nice, you know. And this little black piece here, this was a past blister that I had on my toe. Anytime you bump it or anything like that, I have a even have a video of how I hurt one of my my nail. Well, my artificial nail was bumped on a piece of lawn furniture in the summer, and it got jarred, and it really gave me a nasty blood blister under here. I even show how I popped it but yeah that's what they look like and then this one is has a little bit of moisture under it if you get a shower or whatever and then this one has is dry anyways so now now I'm going to take a 240 grit file and I'm going to file off all my gel polish off of my toes here this is gel polish and then I'm going to go ahead and file down this callus and I'll show you just a little bit of this and then I'll do the rest of it off camera there go a little faster kind of hard to do this when I'm bending over on camera but now do you see that all it takes is just a little bit of work and you can see that my skin you can see my skin now and I have to be really careful because that's soft ouch you know it's it's not totally soft but it's you can actually see where it changes color when you push on it you know so yeah and I'll have to get out another bit here a little pointed bit and kind of go in here a little bit and, and around here but I'm gonna go ahead and do all that off camera and all right here's what they look like so far they're all cleaned up ready to go uh, if you can see here there's a dark spot here and it is some dried blood because this is my problem toenail I do have little tiny pieces of toenail that do grow down inside there deep and what I do is take the I took the file and the curette and went after them and you know what I, I bleed I caused myself and I caused myself to bleed so yeah I cleaned that up a little bit but it stopped and I'm gonna go ahead and proceed everything does look dry right now what I'm gonna do right now is just paint my other toenails and I'm going to be using this color by Madame Glam called Envy and it's a very natural color and I think it's gonna look good so I'll just go ahead and paint those off camera and then I'll come back and I will do my toenails with the dual form be watching for part two to go along with this video here and that video I will apply the nails with the dual forms and you can see how they end up looking very beautiful nice looking natural uh, and about that little syringe thing you can find those at any pharmacy just go up to the pharmacy window and tell them that you're looking for a syringe type needle just tell them it's it's blunt and hollow it's usually used for rinsing and they should sell one of those to you for you know maybe 50 cents to a dollar so they're easily obtainable but anyways that is it for this video be looking for part two thank you so much for watching we'll see you in the next one bye